Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and, um, you know, thinking of the future of Windows, um, we are now at an, a new um, level of, of what's happening with the uh, Windows operating system. Um, I mean, Redstone 5, if you saw my review of Redstone 5, you could see that uh, there's a, one new thing that's kind of interesting, your, your phone experience, which, which will evolve also. But it's interesting to see the departure of the name. Um, you know, right now we're at Redstone 5, and they decided, well, no, it's not going to be called Redstone 6. Let's give it a name, which is 19H1. And there's an interesting aspect to this. Why do you call it 19H1? Um, I mean, right now, it's pretty sure that the versions will, pr if you know, should technically all be um, numbered with the year and the month. So, April 2018 update is in reality 1803, which is March. So, you see that it's kind of weird because 1803 is in reality April update that you get in some people don't have it yet some people will have it in august for example so one of the things for sure even the naming of a version with the month and year is is not a good thing maybe they should just name it the official version number that it they give it because that's when it's finished so technically it's 1803 because that's when it was finished and that's when insiders got the real deal March 2018, so 1803. Um, you know, now we were in the code name of Redstone every time that they were doing a new version, but the interesting thing about this is that uh, the next version, which is Redstone 5, um, okay, you know, we were getting used to the Redstone code name, that's okay. Um, in reality, it's going to be version uh, 1809 because it should be finished by for September. Problem is, why didn't, you know, instead of, if they wanted to drop Redstone codename, then why don't you give it its version number instead of, you know, what, 19H1, why? Why are you using that naming for the next version? Why don't just call it, you know, 1903? It will be the March 2019 version. We know it's going to be ready for then. Uh, they've pretty much not now tagged that March and September are always the months that they release a new version. So why not drop the 19H1 and just say, oh, uh, you know, next version will be uh, 1903. Isn't that kind of more simple? But of course, in many respects and many aspects, we kind of see also at the same time that Simplicity and Microsoft don't really seem to be going together. And uh, it's a very complex task, actually. Um, and of course, you know, we'll see new features, but we'll see, you know, it's very interesting to, to note that we won't see a lot of features in the next version. Um, I was telling on the Insider channel that if my phone experience or your phone experience is there and works, it might be the best feature of the next version of Windows, you know. And um, what will be in the next after that, you know, 19H1, will we have sets? Sets was supposed to be in the, um, sets was really supposed to be in the um, April 2018 update, didn't make the cut. Then it uh, was promised for rest on 5, didn't make the cut, they removed it. And um, what, 19H1 will have sets? It's kind of interesting, you know, and uh, they, they, they seem to be really um, changing things a lot and, uh, of course, kind of not promising anything anymore, which is a good thing because we had way too many promises of features that never made the cut uh, officially. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.